Hello everyone, it's Ian from uh, Delicious Brains here. Um, we've just released a new version of the Multisite Tools add-on uh, for WP Migrate DB Pro version 1.2. Um, and this new version has uh, the much sought after um, ability to drive a migration between a single site install and a, a sub-site um, of multi-site from the single site. So this means that if you have a single site installed behind a firewall, um, you can now um, pull down a subsite into that single site, and make any changes there before then pushing it out to a staging or new production site, etc. So here's a quick demo. Um, we have a multi-site with uh, um, three different subsites. We have one, and we have two. Um, all nicely named as you can see um, and number three which is a, a rather garish yellow um, and that's the one we're going to change in a minute. We also have this single site install which is just a clean install of uh, WordPress uh, with the uh, plugins installed. So let's create a uh, pool migration into the single site install. Uh, we need to go grab the uh, secret key for the multi-site from its uh, migrate db pro settings let's copy it to the clipboard and then paste in okay and it's recognized as a uh, multi-site, so we can pull from a specific sub-site. We're going to pick three. Um, the find and replace have properly changed, uh, as have the paths. And you can see that the tables have also updated, so we've only got the sub-sites and the global tables available. Advanced options, we're not going to change any of them. We don't need them. Um, we might as well do a backup while we're here. Um, and we'll just back up all the WP prefixed ones. Um, we'll do a media files, but there isn't actually anything to pull down. Um, we'll just do a removal and download all. Um, not going to bother saving this migration. Let's do a pull. That's it complete. Um, so let's um, look back in. You can see that the titles changed to the subsites, and now the single site is a nice yellow too. Okay. So let's um, let's update this site um, before we then push it back to the multi site. Um, let's change this color. We'll change it to a nice purple. Everyone likes purple. Um, so before we save and publish, let's update the site's title so that we can tell once once we've updated it on the uh, mod site that it is actually updated. Okay, that should be enough. Save and publish. Um, so at the moment we've got this uh, hello world. Um, let's get rid of that hello world post and create a new one. So we head back into the dashboard, go to the posts, trash the old one, create a new one. Now we have a nice purple site with a purple post. Okay. The uh, the motor site still has its yellow three. We have a purple three updated. Let's um, let's grab 
the secret key again because we didn't save the migration profile. So we need to go grab it. Back on the single site, we are now going to create a push migration from the single site into the sub site. Again, the uh, find and replace and the path have updated correctly. Um, we also have correct tables, or basically all the single site ones. We're not going to touch the advanced options again. Uh, we might as well do a backup. I always like to do a backup. Um, this time we do have media um, to be pushed up. Um, again, we're not going to save. And then we're just going to push this single site into the sub site. Let's have a look at what's going on. Yeah, it's done. So let's have a look at uh, subsite three. Let's refresh. There we go. A nice purple subsite. And when we look at um, the other subsites, they haven't been changed. One is nice white. Two is a nice black, and three is purple. I hope you enjoy this update. Thanks for watching.